What we'll see in all likelihood during the Berlin summit is huge emphasis on uh, really holding the elections, general elections, presidential and parliamentarian uh, this year. And, uh, you know, this, this uh, single focus on, on really making the elections happen this year, almost come what may, is, uh, is another form of diplomacy. It's, it, uh, it has a reckless aspect to it because it's not because, it, you know, the, the elections are not an end to itself. You know, um, they, they could actually, if they're uh, happening in a, the wrong moment, they could um, deepen polarization. They could offer an environment that is propitious to uh, another, another form of, of war or return to war. Simply because you have this emphasis on elections, then the economic track seems to have been completely abandoned. And uh, that's unfortunate because uh, if you stop exerting pressure on, on Libyans, then, then you're not going to see any kind of, of progress. In fact, you're, what you're going to see is a regression. And that's exactly what has been happening. Uh, I, that's one thing that I would expect from the, uh, rather sincerely expect from, uh, from the Berlin process or the Berlin summit, summit I should say, if uh, it could put this economic financial track on the table again. realist must acknowledge that and that's a sad thing to acknowledge is that this weird peace that uh, Libya has enjoyed over the last 12 months actually owes to the presence of foreign mercenaries on both sides uh, that's what it comes down to and of course it's not politically correct to say it. <laughs>